Hey everyone, my name is April Centrone and welcome to Darbuka Basics. Today we are going to go over the basic strokes of the Darbuka. To play Doom, we want to move from the elbow in clockwise circles, keeping your hand taut and straight and striking the head on the palm and the bottom of the fingers. Make sure to keep your fingers together. To play tack, move from the wrist only. Keep the top of your arm and your shoulder relaxed. Keep your elbow relaxed as well. And hinge from the wrist like a door swinging on its hinges. Make sure to open all the way and close all the way. Strike at the top joint of your ring finger on your right hand. Ta is done with two fingers on the left hand, the first finger and the third finger, or the pointer and the ring finger. We want to begin elevated. Toss your finger downward. The first finger is going to make contact towards the bottom of the finger against the very top of the skin, and the ring finger is going to strike where the first finger struck, almost trading places. Ka utilizes the gravity and weight of your forearm coming down and bringing your sound power so you do not have to rely on your wrist alone. Lift your arm from the elbow or you can keep your arm slightly elevated and play like this. To play slap, we're going to also move from the elbow just like the doom. The difference is we're going to strike the ceramic of the drum with the side of our hand, like this. After the hand strikes the ceramic, the rest of the hand continues to the skin, creating a high-pitched slap sound. Pop is a ka with the right hand muting the skin. We can make different pitches for the pop depending on where you press the skin. The higher up the skin, the higher the pitch of the pop. We can play pop with the bottom of our hand against the skin, or we can flip our hand over and press the skin from this side. 